All right, what's up everybody? We got a, another build video today and it's a, it's a speedy Stay. one. So let's get it up and up. All right, so whenever I said speedy, I don't mean it's gonna be a fast build. This is, you get all these boxes out. Got some SRAM stuff. Oh man, okay. And by speedy, I don't mean a quick build. We have a Project One Speed Concept SLR 9 to build for y'all today. So yeah, this thing is kind of a complicated build. Uh, luckily though, this is the ninth Speed Concept SLR that I have put together. I We live in a very triathlon heavy town and um, this bike has been a huge hit. So I am I am very confident in my ability to build it, but hopefully, uh, hopefully we can get through it pretty quick here. One thing about building these bikes is that they really send you a lot of parts and you don't need all the parts for every build. You need most of the parts and um, the first time you build this bike, it is a huge learning curve. There's tons of parts and I got a whole nother box. What's in this box? Even more parts. Look how many parts are in there. Big hunking water bottle thing here. Making a mess already. We'll get it though. So the seat post, uh, just kind of sits in there and it's got its own wedge mechanism. No carbon paste on this. You do not want to use carbon paste. Trek says do not use carbon paste. And then there's a cover that we got to dig out of the box over there to put over that. Um, but then you can see the ISO speed, how it works. It decouples the seat from the rest of the bike. Rubberized pieces here to accommodate the flex. Let's get it in the bike stand. I was able to get all the packaging off the bike after a long battle with some styrofoam and I just wanted to do a quick shot of this awesome paint job. This is a, like I said, this is a project one painted in Waterloo, Wisconsin. Doing a, this is a SRAM Red ETAP 12 speed with a Trex Best aero wheel, the ALS RSL 75. Super excited to get this one done. And Trek kind of sends these out with the cables already pre-routed through the frame, which is really good. But you might've noticed there's no handlebar on there and we're gonna have to route it through the handlebar, which is always really fun. And that's honestly, most of this build is gonna be routing stuff through the handlebar. I don't really wanna show all of it, but I'll show, I'll try to show a walkthrough of how, um, how you can route the Speed Concept handlebar without it being too hard. These are the bolts that hold the head of the seat post in. How you know that is they're the ones with the red lock tied on them. The head of this bolts directly into this uh, seat post. And this is an XL bike. So, I mean, we can always flip. It, it, it's designed to be flipped either forward or backwards, depending on what the fit ends up being. I'm gonna go ahead and just make a gut call. This is an XL bike. So I'm gonna say that it's most likely gonna be like that. Like I said, red Loctite, that's how you know where these go. Next, this piece gets inserted in. Uh, we got the bolts seated and it has a notch in it and a notch on there. And um, sometimes you have to like push this a little hard, but I'm trying to do it one hand, it doesn't work. And then the bottom uh, cinch bolt is the fancy bolt here. So they give you two uh, kind of cheaper bolts and one nice bolt for the seat post. And the reason I do the seat post first is because the sheer volume of little parts in this build, um, just getting some of these things put away makes it easier whenever I'm uh, kind of working my way through the bags here. So it was kind of hot outside, so I changed my hat. But also, here's the handlebar. Um, this is a uh, newly redone handlebar. I don't know what they changed since they recalled these. I've um, been replacing them for people um, whenever they come in. Doesn't look any different to me, but that's all right. And uh, painted to match, which is really cool. It's gonna look awesome. Um, and what I do is, so we got, this is the front brake here. 
Um, let me take that tag off. And we want to route it through the bottom there. And then it kind of goes in between the, the tower stack height thing there. And then through there out to there. <laughs> that worked out really well for the camera, I'm not gonna lie. Sometimes you have to find it. Um, but yeah, I like to do this before putting the handlebar on so I can really kind of like get it where it needs to be. Same thing for this one. Let's see if I can get this one to be as easy. See, it's, that first one is a total fluke. Just took a little bit of messing around. I also like to make sure that I got it to where it makes sense. Do you see how they route and they go the opposite way without crossing over? That is gonna help the preload on the headset sit correctly. I'm gonna let that kind of not hang all the way down, but just droop gently hang there. There's my four mil. And then I'm going to just install this thing you can see inside here there's a steer stopper there so that you don't smash into the frame and then it's um you can see how this split ring preload ring kind of also acts as like a cable routing thing and let's see, pull those through and these come pre-cut steer tube because there's no there's no stack height involved with the with the handlebar or the base bar so, yep, there we go. Pull that tight so it stops fighting us. It really wants to go to that one side for some reason. That's all right, there we go. Um, now we want to get the stem plate. There it is. Like I said, the key to these builds is just, I know it doesn't look like I'm organized right now, but I definitely am organized. And the key to this build is to make sure you keep track of the bags and why they exist. One, two, three, four, five. How many bolts do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight of these. I definitely am organized. This is how the stem works. So this piece slides into here and it's very important. It wants you to tighten this side down all the way and then tighten that side down second. So we're gonna, we're just gonna get it set. Bolts go right through there.
because we still have to do the preload on this so we're just getting the bolts installed I'm not gonna tighten them down yet And this is the top cap. So as I was looking through the bolts, I realized I put the wrong bolts in here. So we're gonna swap them out. It's really hard to tell which ones are stem and which ones are base bar related. Um, I'll show you why that these ones need to be switched out in a second once I get one out of here. There you go. Um, these ones are longer and you want to make sure you get the right length bolt in there and they also have the washer. These ones are used um, for the um, extensions and they don't need to be as long, so just gonna swap them out. How'd you use that? I just use my fingers. No, oh, these are harder. That works too. The sprint shifters, or I guess, yeah, the only shifters that come on this bike. Uh, we want to get them installed correctly. I find that these like covers kind of make it harder to route stuff, so I always take them off. And then you want to have this. route through the bottom right there, pull it through, and stick these in. Like that. Once that's in there, you then take the wire, pull it through right there, and it kind of sits in its little slot, and then these Kind of just pull in like that. Oops, put it on the wrong side. <laughs> and then those will will bolt this down um, in a second here. She just went spit up all over me and her during that clip, like a massive quantity. Is she okay? She's hiccuping. You gotta make sure this wire gets through all the pieces. Um, you can put the angle pieces in with the wire installed, but um, you can't put the main 30 mil rise in. And so we're gonna be bolting this to this first. There's these washers that go in here first. So you put the washer in. And there's different lengths of these bolts. We're not bolting on a ton of stack height right now. So we're just gonna use these it comes with a ton of different lengths so that you can adjust it accordingly to what you need to do. Put that in there. Get the other side. This is attached to the spacer and we have the wire through. We're gonna bolt it in to the track here. All of this is really adjustable um, when this is all said and done. So I, I do think that this speed concept is a big improvement for bike fitters and mechanics who are going to have to be changing this stuff. I'm just shooting in the dark here. I have no clue where this um, bike is going to end up being set up for its uh, whenever it gets fit and everything. So 
It'll look really good though. All right, so I've got most of this bike all the way done at this point. All we gotta do is install the brake levers. I got the blip box here, got the wires ran through the bottom of the base bar here. Just need to put the cover on it and it'll shift now. I haven't connected any of it yet. Two more ports if you wanna install like a an auxiliary shifter. I've done that for some customers already. Yeah, let's get the brakes installed. Got the hose cutter. I usually cut these a little bit long because you can shove the hose back into the handlebar pretty easily. So I'm gonna cut it like right there. And it's pretty simple, just thread it on and uh, we should be good to go. Got it connected and it feels pretty good. I'm gonna take it inside now and uh, finish it up, um, bleed the brakes and get the bars wrapped and then um, call the customer because we're almost done. Project One Speed Concept SLR9. Can the camera hear me? What? Can you, can you hear me? Maybe move a little bit closer. Yeah, I'm trying to get the bike in it though. Yeah, you're good. Now I don't have the bike in it. Anyway, um, we sell a lot of triathlon bikes here, and this is just the first one that we've gotten to do a video about. Please let us know if you um, are interested in a speed concept. I, like I said earlier, I'm really confident in our speed concept knowledge here. We have all the accessories too in stock. Um, check out this bar wrap job we did. It looks amazing. Anyway, I'll have links to all of our contact info and social medias down below, and I'll see y'all in the next one.